Good afternoon, everyone. We are Team T W O Six Four. My name is Hong Wanhui, and on my left hand side are Si and Zhang from Shanghai. And we are from the Department of Applied Te uh, Electronics Technology of National Taiwan Memorial University. And our, our advisor is Professor Xu Chengjian Jiaoshu. Today, we would like to introduce our design, Contact Lenses Triangle System to you. First of all, the main points we will be talking about are illustrated here. We will briefly introduce our design at first, and then talking about function descriptions, design architecture, and design methodology. We've, we've divided design methodology into three parts. Well, talking about how to achieve, uh, how to do eye tracking via particle filter, how to overlap contact lenses and irises, and how to achieve major looks. And in the last three points, well, look at design features, applications, and conclusion. Now, um, let me start with the introduction. Our system aims to allow users to virtually try on contact lenses. And contact, len contact lenses used to be a popular source of vision correction. However, more and more people use colored contact lenses for cosmetic purpose. So we noticed that some of our classmates wanted to give it a try, but they were too afraid to put the contact lenses into their eyes. Therefore, we came up with the idea of designing a system which allows users to experience um, wearing contact lenses, but without troublesome process. So here are the four main functions of our system. Uh, it's easy to use our system that users only have to touch LTM touch panel, and they can select the contact lenses they want to try and try them on. And all the users' images are captured and stored in our system. And once our system starts to do eye tracking and overlap, these data will be read out and be processed. And we overlap the contact lenses and irises to make the, uh, the image overlap. Okay, uh, now let's talk about design architecture. Here is a hardware design. We use SLPC solution to implement our design. And all the pictures of contact lenses are stored in SD card. Once the users touch LTM touch panel, and the chosen contact lens picture will be read out by the CPU and wait for overlap. And meanwhile, D5 band cameras start to capture the user's images and store these images into SD RAM. And this data will wait for the system to start to do image processing, eye tracking by particle filter, and overlap. And our, our menu is stored in flash, by the way. So basically, um, the whole operation includes five stages. There are touching menu, capturing images, image processing, eye tracking, and finally overlap of the contact lenses and irises. Now, I'd like to pass my presentation to the next speaker, Fang Xiangyu. She will introduce the remaining parts to you. Good afternoon, my name is Fang Xiangyu. I'd like to uh, introduce the rest part of the presentation. First of all, I'm going to talk about our design methodology. We track the location of irises via particle filter, which is precise enough for us to know where exactly uh, the irises centers are. And after knowing the location of irises center, we overlap the contact lenses on the user's irises. And to achieve a more natural look, we'll use some method to make them look more natural. We'll discuss the particle filter part and the method later. First of all, we 
divide the LTM panel into two sections. And we initialize the upper side of each section. After initializing, we calculate the wave of each particle. And a resampling procedure deals with the elimination of the particle which have small weight and replication of the particle with larger weight. During prediction, each of particle is modif modified according to the state model of the region of interest in the video frame. You can see the uh, process of particle filter through the flow chart. We'll keep doing the resampling and pre uh, prediction until it satisfies the criteria. This, <coughs> this is the result of first resampling. You can see the yellow spot and the red spot in the picture. If, uh, we mark the spot as yellow if the value, if the RGB value is larger than the weight. And we'll choose five top largest value of the yellow spot and calculate its gravity center. We'll, we'll mark the gravity center as red, as you can see in this picture. And this is the result of first example. After prediction, we resample again. And you can see the spot, the, loca the location of the spot gathered to the optimum point gradually. And this is the result of third resampling. You can see the location is very close to the iris center. After knowing the location of iris center, we overlap the contact lenses on the user's irises. We store those images in the SD card, which is huge and flexible enough to store those images. And each image of contact lens is 60 pixels multiplied 60 pixels. The picture you can see is here. To achieve more natural looks, we multiply the RGB value of contact lenses and irises in a by specific way. And you can see the picture on the left side. It's the result before multiplication. And the picture next to it is the result after multiplication. And you can see the look is more natural. The following are our design features. Uh, because trial contact lenses are expensive, this system can provide a cheaper way to, uh, for a consumer to try on contact lenses, and the operation is simple. Uh, furthermore, we can add more colors or kinds of contact lenses into SD card if we want. And you, we can use the method we've mentioned before to make our looks more natural. As for applications, we can cooperate with op optical shops and provide consumers the experience to try on contact lenses. Uh, this, is, this is the result before try on contact lenses, and this is the result after. As for conclusion, we acquire the skills in both hardware and software designed by using SOPC solution to design a contact lenses try-on system. In the future, we'll focus on how to turn the system into a dynamic system and make the look to be able to overlap the contact lenses in different face angles. Thank you for your attention. We'd like to open the field to any question if you may have.